more people than I thought, so we're doing good. <laughs> but everybody here knows about Linux. Yeah, somebody does. Well, that's what I'm here for, then, if you don't, to explain it. Okay, I'm all ready to go. Okay. Welcome to uh, my presentation about uh, what Linux can do for you. This is just a simple discussion. Ask questions. Remind me to repeat your question into the speaker, so uh, to the microphone, so everybody knows what's going on, you know, the question and what the answer is. But uh, this is a simple presentation. It's a simple subject, but it has one very important thing we have to get across, and we'll, the, you'll, you'll recognize the slide for the important thing when it comes up, okay? Um, my name's Scott Hood. I, um, I'm a Linux hobbyist, boutique print, uh, pro, uh, programmer, and wannabe electronic engineer. So now I work in Fairfax County, um, uh, working on computers and other tasks as assigned. Uh, we don't talk about the other tasks as assigned. It's, it can be pretty boring. Uh, I also attend George Mason University in my spare time after working 40 hours a week. It turns out George Mason is right down the road from where I work, so I, don't even, I just go home and take a side trip to George Mason, so it works out real nice. And remember, horses are dangerous. I ride motorcycles. Yeah. Okay. Now, Linux can do, well, there was another, there's another slide somewhere. Okay. Now, this is important. Okay. You need to be a neckbeard, antisocial, um, uh, uber academic computer geek to use Linux. I had to read that especially because I think that's a good phrase. But befriend the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Uber geek. They will help you. And they need the socializ socialization skills that you can provide. Okay? Um, people, people get the idea that they can't use Linux because they don't know anything about computers. Well, Linux is at the point where you can use Linux. You can, you can just download it, install it. Okay, so you might need a little help, but that's very rare to get past certain problems. But you can ask somebody. Um, sometimes they'll be gruff because they understand why you're asking them such a simple question. Don't worry about it. They'll get over it. Okay? But, but ask. It's, it's a, you know, the World Wide Web is great. Read what, read what you can. Be... Um, you know, do your due diligence and read the documentation provided and do a Google search. Terror, Google is evil. Uh, um, do, do a Google search for what you need. Uh, censorship is evil, therefore Google's evil. Okay. Now, there's a lot of, there's a lot of programs you can use just out of the box, just like Windows, <laughs> uh, you can, um, you know, you have software packages that that most distributions ship with um, with Linux. You, you've got, you know, all the Office programs you need, plus you have other packages, and we're going to talk about what some of those packages are, to that Linux, I mean, that Windows will force you to buy. Well, Linux has them, and... Okay, they might not be as cleanly polished as what Microsoft puts out, but they're more than usable, they're more, more than adaptable, and they're, it's good stuff. Okay, you can use it. Okay. Now, with uh, especially um, younger, uh, younger students, they want to learn programming. Pro Linux is the programming environment to learn with because you don't have to spend any money to learn to program Linux. It's all, you know, it's all there and what doesn't come on the distribution you can download. It's, you know, it's the ultimate STEM tool that you can have in your house to, to learn how to do things with. Um, you can learn, you know, Python, um, C++. You can even, you can even learn old, uh, COBOL if you want. 
I mean, it's there for you. So, we, you know, the, the information is there. You just need to use it. Sometimes you'll have to read a book. It's a terrible thing. Books are terrible things. But the dead free form of information is still very valuable. Okay? Um, and with, uh, with Linux, you don't just go out and program, you know, without any help at all. Uh, Linux has um, uh, um, integrated development environments that coach you, that, that, that point out where you're missing this, or you don't have this syntax right, or you misspelled a uh, command. So these are very valuable when you're learning to program. You, you're not stuck out there using a uh, text editor to compile um, uh, uh, source code that you la later have to uh, um, edit because it won't compile right. Okay, so there's there's a lot of good things for Linux that people people don't understand, you know, and you don't have to be an expert to use any of this. That's that's the whole point behind behind this 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 presentation is that you can do what you need to do without spending a lot of money and help. Okay, and you don't have to be a neckbred. You know, you already don't have to be an expert. You can you can become an expert by learning Linux. Um, you can uh, um, people believe rote learning is not a valid way to learn things, but there's a multiple uh, many things that you just have to learn memorize to so you can use it at will. To um, I'm trying to think of the best example. Um, the uh, shells on uh, on uh, um, atoms f uh, for chemistry. It doesn't help you if you can't communicate to people so about uh, the structure of atom as uh, as related to chemistry unless you can talk to them freely. You know, if you're always looking through and looking at a chart somewhere, if you can't talk to them, you need to be able to talk to people. That's that's the big thing about. Um, jargon in um, in uh, specific um, situations it it streams line, streamlines the flow of information so information to, um, is this thing going dead on me uh, if you don't have the information to um, to protect, to give to people and receive it then you can't you can't talk to each other okay so um, rote, rote memorization is, uh, is, is a very valuable tool in communication and learning. Now, uh, then you can go to um, uh, computer-aided math programs, CAM programs. Though that becomes very important because now you have a way to check your work. You can, if you, if you wanted to, you could do every problem you ever, ever saw and get the right answer with the uh, computer-aided math. Uh, program like uh, Maxima or Octave, but that doesn't help you learn. That helps you operate a computer, and learning is not always operating a computer. You can do graphic plots. I can't think of something any, any drier than having to uh, plot out a uh, curve path. Well, uh, Linux will uh, using um, uh, uh, Xplot and several other uh, schemes, uh, programs can put you on the way to quickly getting the information you need and moving on. Okay, but there, there's so much more to what uh, Linux can do for education. And then Linux is ready for industry. Okay, Linux has a, you have. Uh, you have full inspection of all the code, or most of the code, for, for any device you want to put on your Linux machine. So now you can, you can edit it, you can do what you need to do with it. You, don't have to, you just have to put it on your machine to provide support for scanners. And then with scanners comes uh, um, uh, printers. 
and then you know it, it's there for you to use and if you want to edit it you can go look at the source code and change it like you like you'd want but that's neckbeard stuff and if you want to you can learn to do it but you don't have to this is ready for you to use where you need it okay now let's see when you get ready to start programming you can down you can open up you can download and open up the source code and read what the uber hobbyist has done and what professional the way professional programmers write and that's important when you go to school you don't learn how the professional writes you learn how the teacher wants to teach you you know you don't learn you don't learn the little gimmicks that pro professionals use you learn what the teacher knows and the teachers are very good but they don't know everything you go to the source code and you learn more okay with we have to learn to use the resources we have available to do other things and that's what's important about Linux it gives us insight to other things that we can apply to a third thing scope you know when you programming computers I like to say computers are very narrow people say oh uh, word can do all the th all the functions for you well you have to know how to operate word now operating uh, um, a, uh, a word processor is not computer knowledge that's word uh, word processor knowledge learning how to do the computer uh, to operate on a lower level is computer knowledge with Computers, there's two, two groups of people. There's users that are very knowledgeable on how to use the computers, and then there's um, uh, the hardware people that are very knowledgeable on how to fix, repair, build. But there are two different groups. Users don't need to be pr um, uh, um, hardware people unless they want to, and hardware people don't need to be uh, um, users unless they want to and there there's where the paradigm comes in we we can you can be a user without being a a, a hardware geek okay and that's 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 important that's a that's a block to what people want to do people people think well i get a linux computer but i have to know all this other stuff linux is where you don't need to know all this other stuff it helps but you can be a user without being a hardware geek okay now Linux is telecom ready this thing's going off on by itself ain't it uh, in in industry you can use uh, you can use uh, Linux to operate your PBX your uh, your uh, um, your distribution center for your for your uh, uh, telephone system okay users don't need to know that but it's available if they need it if uh, if a uh, um, office needs to set up a PBX, Linux can do that. Okay, Linux is graphics ready. You can um, there's every uh, you take like GIMP is a very powerful program uh, graphics program that has support. You can go, you know, it has long history and it's understand uh, okay and I hate this I'm dropping out and I don't know why okay. um, but you can do image processing um, with GIMP to that presents I mean the whole world is for GIMP uh, you take like um, Photoshop well GIMP was around before Photoshop the uh, Photoshop is trying to make it easy. It really is. Uh, yep, it's so powerful with power, with great power, com uh, computer programming power. Come, you have to learn more. Okay, 
and Linux is powerful, so sometimes you have to learn more. Windows is made, made, uh, made to be easy. Linux is made to be powerful. Okay, you can edit, um, you can do audio editing, like a studio, studio grade audio editing with uh, the, the tools Linux has. Um, I've done, I've used Audacity to build um, intros and exits from, from, uh, from uh, school, pro, uh, school programs that we have that, you know, just tie these things up. But then, if you wanted to have uh, Linux as part of a, I mean, your audio program as part of a uh, full production, you can do that too. Okay. Now, Linux has long been used for 3D print uh, uh, printing, but printing the object is not all there is to 3D printing. You have to also build the object. In, in the computer system, you have to design and draw the program for, build, uh, for your build. You know, I, I, I can easily print, do a 3D print. That's, that's like breathing, almost. The, the computer hardware does everything you need to do. You have the 3D printer, if you get the right one. Okay, you, there may be some fiddling you need to do, but it'll print. But, but before that, you have to to print. And Linux can develop the model you need to print without paying thousands of dollars to Adobe and other organizations. Okay. Um, we program Blender. Blender is, is a um, powerful programming tool, I mean a powerful graphics tool that you can use to build 3D prints. Okay, we, um, uh, uh, Cura is just, just uh, uh, to operate, but it's Linux. And um, you got self-CAD, FreeCAD, and uh, that lets you Build your item. There, that's uh, uh, factor programs you need, uh, or computer aided design programs you need. And then, while you're printing, you can use OctoPrint to control your printer, and without running down, uh, running to whatever room you have your printer at, you can monitor your printer using OctoPrint visually monitor monitor not just a light or or a uh, air light or some air code you can set up a camera on octoprint and and review that Pro printer now just because, just because Linux can build it doesn't mean you don't have to start with a model you can download models and then use octo uh, use uh, your cat uh, uh, CAD program to edit models and that's very powerful uh, why start once why re uh, um, completely build from scratch when all you need to do is change a, a few things on it you know it saves time and is a very valuable way of, of uh, engineering products that's right stealing other people's designs <laughs> <laughs> under under um, Microsoft leaves in it like uh, DR DOS, um, uh, digital research DOS. That there was a big fight about that. If y'all if you don't remember, look it up. So uh, okay. Now, engineering is a task that I like. <laughs> Some people don't like it. I like, I like engineering. I like uh, um, the calculations, uh, uh, designing, designing uh, circuits. I'm not good at it. That's the reason I don't work at it. But I like it. And with, uh, um, with Linux comes with tools specifically designed for engineering that you don't always pay for. But when you don't pay for it, you don't get the bells and whistles. 
but but bells and whistles aren't required. It's the it's the uh, uh, it's the basic structure of the program is what you need. So um, and again, you can use LibreCAD to design an object and. Um, uh, just like you would write it, write it on paper for word working, uh, structural design, uh, uh, building design, uh, a small part design. You can you can go from skyscrapers to uh, an ink pen and design it all on uh, um, Linux. Yes, it's not as filled out as if you bought a uh, $10,000 CAD program, but then you got to pay $10,000. This is where, this is what you can use and you can use it every day. You, um, somebody put, uh, ported traffic engineering programs into, into Linux. You're not traffic engineers. But it's there for you if you if you have a problem you want to solve that requires traffic engineering. Uh, for a long time, the only um, electronic simulator people had was actually a plumbing simulator. <laughs> so, so uh, when uh, when the plumbing hits the fan, it turns to electronics. You know. The important part is without spending a lot of time on um, the the hardware, you can you can ignore the hardware and just design what you need. And engineers don't want to spend their valuable time on hardware. They want to they want to design things, and Linux can support that. Now we have to. For new people, they don't understand what a distribution is. Now, I, I keep writing GNU Linux. When Linux was started, you had you had an idea for a program, and one of the first things they had to do was they had to compile the program because Linux was written in C++. And they had to compile that. Well, they started out with a free program called uh, uh, GCC, GNU compiler, and Richard Stallman was was part of that, and he developed a whole him and his crew. He didn't do it by himself. Developed a suite of programs towards a free operating system, but they didn't have the operating system. They and um, Linus Torvald come up come around and said, well, I need to compile all this work together. So they work together. So that's where the new part comes in. It's very part of the very important part of history. And uh, uh, Stallman and crew, the Open, uh, open Source Foundation, deserve credit. But we shorten it to Linux. G, uh, um, uh, GNU Linux is hard to say. So we just say Linux. Now, distributions are glummed on to a Linux kernel. You have all, a whole bunch of tools come up, and that, that goes with the Linux kernel. Then you have all the packages you load on top of it. And people, people don't understand, especially new people, and that's who I'm trying to talk to, is what, it, what is a package? Well, you can get a package over here that does strictly office things. Then you can get a package for engineering things. And then you can get a distribution for um, that concentrates on education. You know, it's all it's it's there for you, and people do it because they want to. They do it when when they have a need, and then they share it. So distributions are very important uh, for for the beginning user. You need to think about a. a uh, uh, a important distribution like uh, Ubuntu or uh, uh, Fedora that that will load on almost every computer without any any changes or any configuration settings needed. And but if you need to, you can go to uh, 
um, other distributions. Uh, you can go to um, uh, Fire OS. I think that's the name of it. Uh, you can uh, Debian and Zorin, but they may, they may may need more tweaks for your specific specific application than perhaps Ubuntu does. And people need to know about this so they don't get trapped under the uh, deluge of information. Just go out and put on a, a Ubuntu and run the software. It's the same price as all the rest of it. Okay. And don't sweat the, don't worry about the details. Um, you know, if you want to, learn all you can about your operating system. But if you don't want to, go ask somebody. And sometimes you get somebody that's kind of gruff, but they're rare. They exist, and they're rare, but ask anyway. What, what are they going to do? Tell you, tell you no? <laughs> Everybody tells you that anyway. Okay. So learn what you can do for, you know, be social, join Linux, and use it. And maybe, maybe these gruff people, you'll socialize. Okay? Ask a community member. Don't struggle. Okay? And that's the presentation. Half hour, easy, quick, dirty. Learn Linux. No, don't even learn Linux. Learn what you want to do. If you want to, if you want to uh, just learn a uh, word processor, well, that's important. That's what you need to do. But, but uh, Linux is there for you to use without exorbitant prices. And donate to, donate to the uh, group if you use Linux. It doesn't have to be a lot because these people, the, uh, the uh, uh, programmers, they work with no funding and usually without an attaboy. If you, if you send them a few dollars, they get an attaboy and they'll keep working. They were working for free to begin with. It won't hurt to give them an attaboy. Okay, is there any questions? Awful quiet. <laughs> Thank you. How, how many how many new new Linux users have or or uh, um, Linux curious people do we have? Excellent. So you see what the conference is all about. Come to them, talk to people, and see what you want to use. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. Huh?